poetry is my passion since when I was a child. Maybe I recall that I was seven years old. And I used to imitate Narsi Mehta and try to write some kind of a parody type of a bhajans, devotional songs. And that's how it started. And then uh, nobody listened to me, but I just uh, hum all the time. And then uh, all of a sudden I got into contact with our, uh, one of the teachers in eighth grade who taught me uh, how to write. And then I picked it up on that. And then I got into contact with the well-known poets of Gujarat. And then they encouraged me and so on. That's how it happened. Then I came here. After that, uh, uh, Sam Pitroda, who has been very inspirational all along, he said, why didn't you publish a book? Why didn't you publish a book? And that's how all of this motivational push has come back to me. And then I said, OK, let me think about it. And then I started writing in English as well, because we are here and our audience is English speaking and so on. So that is how it happened. And the other side, technology was my uh, second passion, I would say. But the first passion was poetry, that's for sure. Then I started to write uh, a column in uh, India Tribune, which is called Dear Uncle, where thousands of people have written to me. I wrote a column four times of India as well, where it was life in the United States of America and all that. When you listen to the problems of people all the time, that inspires you somehow in terms of writing poetry. Because there are roots of all of these things is thinking and reading and thinking and reading. So that's how I got involved into the poetry. Another thing also that it relaxes me. Uh, some people think that it's work and some people say that, how do you do it? But I enjoy it as I'm in the middle of the night or while I'm riding on the train to Chicago. And it takes in an hour or so and then I keep on writing it. The best poems have come to me within five minutes of time. And that is something amazing to me. Sometimes I surprise myself. Magodi is my hometown. That's where I was raised. Uh, this hometown, when I was born around that area, uh, maybe 1,000 people population or less, maybe 500 people, something, very small town. And then I had friends and I had put so much time in there. So I got attached with the entire Magodi town and the elements such as the uh, river of Magodi, that's a Khari river. I see the Kari River as a person. Uh, it's always a person to me. There was a people tree in front of my home, and there was also a some kind of a individual or some kind of an adult I'm talking to. And whenever I go to Magodi, and uh, recently I went there, and I met a person who is about 70 years old, same age as mine, and then I was surprised to see that, that he's still there. He recognized me, I recognized him. And then when I visited my home where I was born, I don't know how to express, how to express that feeling. I was so emotionally, and people are wondering that this person is coming from America uh, and uh, with the well-dressed, with the tie and everything, and he's crying. <laughs> it was an amazing feeling at the time. I don't know how to describe it. So this place and town has some impression on you. It influences you, it, it, it stirs you inside. And then I said, what is that thing? It is nothing but a mystic, because I cannot explain how that feeling is. It's all physical things, but I see them alive as if they're talking to me. And that's how all of these things are happening, that that's a mystic for me. I think the uh, underlying thing is like this, that whatever happens in your childhood that carries a long way, all the way to you go to, uh, like it says that, they say that the is a womb to tomb type of thing. Nothing get lost. And that has stayed with me. Even I dream about Magwari, I think about Magwari, how beautiful it was, even though it's a dusty town and all that. And you might see one of my poems in uh, Magodi, the hometown, uh, what I say that I try to compare it with Chicago skyline. And 
I see all the reflections of the lake shore and everything, but I don't derive that pleasure of thinking about Nagodi and the river. And sometimes the river was the place where I spent lots and lots of hours jumping and all that. So that's how Maguri is so special for me.